it was like 2006 maybe, there was a lot of militias in Baghdad. They attack American all the time. One time happened, I was texting home, walking to take a taxi. Several cars stopped on the side with people carrying machine guns and there was American army on my side. And the militia, they starting like the gunshots on the American. I saw the wall just destroying with the bullets. I like get paralyzed in my place, just like frozen. I thought this is the end. One of the people who get a shot in his shoulder is, was just in front of me. He pushed me and he shot in my face, run. And he just like woke me up. I thank God all the time because like without his grace and without his protection, we've been dead from long time ago. Take one. How many? Five. Yeah. Okay. Common mark. Okay, so my name is. Uh, I was born in Baghdad. I work in medical field and radiology technology. Uh, as a Chaldean, we are a Christian minority and we want to live in peaceful community, to live, work, and support their families. During Saddam regime, we were thinking that Saddam is the problem, and when he go, everything bad will go with him. But like after Saddam regime, so many Islamic party came into the view and everyone want his party to be the ruler. For us as a Christian, we don't have a voice over there. So they are fighting each other and we are getting hurt. A lot of pastors get killed. A lot of Christians get killed because they are going to the church and everybody is killing everybody just to get something from them. Basically, you don't know who is your enemy. When you go out, you just pray uh, and ask God to return back in peaceful. We take every day like that. I like working in radiology, but like you get threat all the time while you are working. So one time, one, uh, one person, he came into the office and said, I want to do a brain MRI. So I told him, show me the paper that referring you to us. He said, I don't have, I just want to do the exam. So I told him, okay, but at the end of the day, my employer will ask me why you did this exam. He refused to listen, so he started arguing with me. Uh, I called uh, the security and he took him out. One uh, of my friends came in and he said that he saw that guy waiting on a side in the front door. He know them and he told me, you are in a great danger. This guy have a gun and there is another car waiting down the street and also they have guns. They will not let you go home today. My heart was like beating very fast. He told me, leave everything now and come with me through the basement. So I escaped from the hospital and I didn't return like for two years. Two of the friends who was working over there, they got killed. One of them, they follow him to his clinic and they kill him over there. And the other way, they kill him in the street. I have to leave everything. In 2007, we have another tragedy in my uh, family also. Another person with the, like explosive build uh, explode himself and uh, my nephew was killed. After her son dies, my sister, she get into sadness. She have uh, a kidney failure. She died uh, between my arms in the hospital where the doctor wasn't taking care of her. I miss her so much. She was like uh, a great woman and yeah.
we were never thinking like to leave Iraq. But after that incident, you feel you are just waiting for the day that you've been killed. You can feel the hate between people. It was not the same country I loved. So from that moment on, I was applying for immigration. When they give me the okay, uh, we were in a good relationship together. And I was seeing her as my future wife and she was doing the same. Over there in the community, like, uh, it's not nice not to make it formal. So you have to make it formal. The family in the beginning were refusing because like when you leave, we don't know if you are coming back. But my wife came in and she said, I want him. <laughs> Uh, we did the promises, and after like two weeks, I left Iraq. I kept my promise with my wife, like after getting the green card, I booked a trip uh, back to Iraq. My wife was uh, very excited to come to the United States. But the situation changed. Everything was shut down due to ISIS a problem at that time. When she has the pain to deliver, there is no doctor. A nurse helped with the delivery. And my son was born with a cord around his neck. And he was about to pass away. They cut it. They tried to give him some oxygen. And he was survived. They called me and I heard his voice for the first time. And she's crying and I want like to go over there, but I can't, it's impossible. The process took another year until they give her the visa to come here to the United States. She came in five airplanes. When she came in, she was <laughs> very exhausted. Uh, hugged her for the first time from long time. She gave me my son. Uh, I played with him. Oh my God. You don't know, you, you want to cry, you want to laugh, you want to hold him, yeah. And now we are five uh, person family and we are feeling happy every day because we believe, we believe 100% that God is here and he's taking care of us. We went to the Salvation Army in the very beginning because we didn't have uh, enough food and enough uh, materials for living. So they give us a supply with uh, food and they said that I can come in every month to get some food for my family. Uh, and that was continued until I get my first job. This community is very good because they are helping and supporting the old people and there is a lot of ladies in her age, like a friends. Yeah, I feel happy also. I got uh, the citizenship in 2015 and uh, now I'm citizen. And as a country, they welcome us and uh, they give us this opportunity to have a new home and to be able to work in safe community. I have my family and uh, new friends. I really say God bless America. In my heart, I feel happy to give this message to everyone. Feel happy on everything that God gives you, even if it's a little, no matter if you are living in peace or war, if you are living in a small house or in a big mansion, because that can vanish in one minute. We cannot predict it. The only thing we can make sure that we have it is salvation and I hope that Jesus' message reached to everybody to have salvation because that is what's, what is more important to me for any other things.
If this video impacted you, like it and share it. We are always posting content, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for helping us share change.